This is mock-up of naval version of advanced light helicopter in NUH configuration. Indian Navy is in process of procuring 111 naval utility helicopters. On day one of Aero India 2019, Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman evinced keen interest in Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's naval utility helicopter. She witnessed the complete demonstration of tail boom folding and main rotor folding of the naval utility helicopter, which was on display at HAL Pavilion as a technology demonstrator. Hello and welcome. My name is Shailesh Kumar and you are watching me on National Defence. Today we are in the naval version of ALH helicopter built by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, the pride of India. HAL showcased a mock-up of advanced light helicopter group with customization which would meet all the operational requirements as stated in the Navy RFI for a naval utility helicopter. ALS drop in NUH configuration will be fitted with torpedoes, depth charges, missiles, cell protection suit, flight crew data, software defined radio, data link and setcom and will have main rotor blade folding and tail boom folding to enable stowage in Navy's ship hangars. I am Nagarajan, head of rotor system working with RWRDC HIL Bangalore and here in the air show we are displaying this wheel version helicopter which is primarily for naval and coast guard applications. And here we are primarily displaying our blade folding capability and storage capabilities. And here we have integrated and displayed both blade folding as well as tail boom folding which is on the display. With this we can able to achieve the requirements of naval in the various platforms and ship where they are going to position this helicopter. This is the primary purpose of this. The Indian Navy already has the necessary infrastructure and trained manpower to maintain the ALS fleet. ALH has proved its robustness in all operating conditions which has been validated by accruing more than 2 lakh flying hours and more than 260 helicopters are in service of various customers. It is our own indigenous uh, deck made in India. So this is towards the application of that and to meet the naval requirement and Coast Guard requirements. It's what it meets all the operational requirements of Navy, sonar operations and then uh, dunking operations, rescue operations, such and major rescue mission all the things it can able to do. So this is towards that. On the tail boom we have got a brought in a cut section. With that we are able to fold to achieve the requirements. Similarly blade folding operations is already there in the other naval helicopters also. In a first of its kind, Ministry of Defence has issued expression of interest for shortlisting of potential Indian strategic partners and foreign OEMs for the procurement of 111 naval utility helicopters for the Indian Navy on 12th February this year. These helicopters will replace Chetak helicopters and will be utilized for search and rescue, casualty evacuation limo, passenger rolls and torpedo drops. 95 helicopters out of 111 will be manufactured in India by the selected Indian strategic partner. The case was approved by DAC on 25th August last year. The project is likely to provide major boost to government's Make in India program and to give flip to manufacturing capability of helicopters in India. The OEM have been mandated to set up dedicated manufacturing line including design, integration and manufacturing process for NUH in India and make India manufacturing line as a global exclusive facility for the NUH platform being offered. While Indian companies have been given two months to respond to EOI, the foreign OEMs have been given three months for responding due to the nature of inputs required. Messrs. Tata Advanced Systems Limited, Mahindra Defence, Adani Defence, LNT, Bharat Forge, and Reliance Infrastructure are the probable Indian companies that are likely to participate in the process. The Indian companies would be shortlisted based on their capability of system of system integration, facility in the aerospace domain, and financial capability. The foreign OEMs likely to participate in the project are Lockheed Martin, Airbus Helicopters, Bell Helicopters, and ROE. High level of indigenization that is about 60% of the helicopter is desired through the NUH project. The RFP for the procurement is likely to be issued towards the end of third quarter of this year to the shortlisted Indian companies. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited being the original equipment manufacturer in its 
new avatar on a higher pedestal can supply NUH in association with private sector, which will be a major boost for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Make in India program. So right now we are sitting in the ALH uh, naval uh, cockpit. So as you can see, uh, this is the we have the glass cockpit where we have the four displays. We call it as a multiple function display. And uh, apart from these four displays, we have the two control and display uh, system, CDS1 and CDS2. Uh, and this cockpit will also have some standby instruments. So we have an uh, uh, integrated standby instrument system. We have a standby engine instrument and we have a standby uh, cockpit panel. Cockpit uh, panel that will display the, all the warnings and uh, critical warnings. Okay, so if you can see here, this is we call it uh, primary flight display page. So that will give you the, all the air data parameters along with some additional uh, information related to the engines and the, your the collective politic position and the navigation. Okay. So with the help of help of this uh, primary flight display page, uh, pilot can safely fly without looking at the other pages. Then uh, we have the several other pages also. This we call it as a startup display. And uh, here we have the schematic display for the electrical. Then on the first MFD we have the map display, uh, where the area can be uh, map of the particular area can be loaded in the mission computer, and accordingly you can see that particular map area through the GPS. And uh, these MFD can have the display pages on the each MFD. Let's say if you want to see, if I want to see the PFD page on MFD uh, two, I can simply click it here. And uh, co-pilot can also see. Since it is, in this, it is a side by side configuration, so the pilot and co-pilot both can have the similar pages on their uh, particular MRDs. Then we have got the two CDS, which has got the alpha numeric keys also. So with the help of these alpha numeric keys, pilot can enter the data. In the process of realization of the objective of delivery of NUH, the indigenous private sector vendor base would be fully engaged in maximizing indigenous content. This would further improve the aerospace ecosystem in the country, for which HAL is in prime position to lead the objective of Make in India. Further, as design rights and complete technology are owned by HAL, the helicopter can be indigenously upgraded to meet any future emerging operational requirements of Indian Navy. This uh, display system we have provided for a civil application also. So we have demonstrated our requirements. So future or uh, when we go for civil version, this will be the arrangement and uh, we can uh, provide these facilities. Thank you for watching. If you like this story, do give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe National Defense. Content on National Defense is free to watch and if you wish to support National Defense content, you may do so via Patreon. The link is given in the description. Stay fit, stay healthy and stay tuned to National Defense. Jai Hind.